Some videos ago, I showed you this viewer gift boring head. And of course, I had to give it a try in a milling machine. And because this taper doesn't fit in the quill here, I used this adapter, which works perfectly fine. This and then this one goes here with the throw bar. It worked. But some of you pointed out that it could be dangerous because this adapter is not fixed on this taper. To be good there should be also a draw bar in here. And that is of course absolutely right. So thank you very much for pointing that out. But I suppose you understand I wanted to play with my brand new toy here. I was a little bit excited and I didn't think too much. So now time to think. My first idea was to copy this part. So cut this thread and then make the same taper on this side, same as this one and then copy the thread. So I have a brand new part. Because I don't want to mess up this one. This one is original to the boring head so I think they belong together. But of course as always there is a problem. According to my thread gauge here this is a 12G a half 116 inch of whatever that means. It sounds so complicated that I'm almost sure I cannot cut this thread here on my lathe. But to be absolutely sure let's Google. Ok, I'm back with the paper. I figured out that the pitch this thread is 2.117 mm. I know in the imperial threads it's threads per inch, but we metrics we do one rotation, the pitch, yeah, 2.117. And indeed my lathe cannot cut this thread. So a little change of plans over here. Just an idea. If I cut off the tank that's on this one here, this part, of course it will still fit in the taper, no problem. And I can cut a thread in here. For example, the metric 8 and I can bolt this bolt in here. That's part 1 of the plan. Part 2. Make a new adapter like this one and of course the bolt that goes in here a little bit deeper that will hold this part in place. I think that could work. And I checked this special thread for decal. I will keep it a little bit closer because it's a really special thread. If I make a new cutting tool I think I can cut this one because this one is a pitch of 2 mm and normally my lathe can do. So the plan is cut a Morse taper 2 inside, cut this taper outside, but I want, want it a little bit But I want it a little bit shorter, so if this part goes in here, for the moment I have over 300 mm of lost space here. So I would like to have it closer to the quill. I think that's possible. The big challenge will be of course to have this taper exactly the right size. Here maybe you can see a little bit, this is where it stops. So having the right size that this is the maximum length. We imagine this part, this little part does not exist. And at the same time having this taper that fits 
but maybe one or two millimeters above this surface. So precision will be important. Right, enough blah blah. First of all, cut this tongue off, drill and tap M8 in this part. After making something that looks more or less like this, out of this, over to the late. That's good. Before I take the part out, first I'm gonna use it to set the right angle on the top slide. So let's take off this block and install the top slide. I have it in less than a half one hundred, so five microns over this distance. I think that will do. I don't think I can get it better because when I move the chuck you see the needle going. So I think this will do. But before I break off all this uh, setup here, maybe it's a good idea to check the other taper. It's not exactly the same. No. So for the inner taper, for this part, this setting is okay, but for, to make the outer taper, I have to make some changes. But whatever, we'll do. I stopped cutting a little bit early because I wanted to do a test fit. I gave it here a little line with my sharpie. There's no wobble, so that's a good start. The surface finish inside here is not perfect because I see a few lines here. But the lines are over the whole length, almost. So it looks promising. It was touching here too. Good, let's continue.
I think it looks good. And I also think I was lucky this time because when I put it completely in, I have a gap here of about 2 mm. I don't think I could dream anything better than this. I reinstalled the part in the chuck and of course also the indicator so to be able to determine the right angle to test, set the top slide. So that's one reason and the second reason is of course also to put my part I'm making here so that if I put a center drill center drill thing in here it will be perfectly in line with the taper I already cut in here. But first determine this taper. I'm not gonna bother you with this. I will bring you back when something happens. The idea of first put a center on this side is of course that from now on I can turn this part between centers because there is one on this side. Which means that I can do my turning operations and then take it out, go to the milling machine, do a test fit, come back if needed and I hope that's a win. In theory I should be now completely set up to start cutting the biggest diameter here on this part. So more or less this is a bit under 32 millimeters and this is 40. So I'm gonna first cut over the whole length. But of course as always there is a problem. This is the original part that I use now to hold my to make part. And I'll dial it in and it was perfectly in line and everything worked well. And now that I used the center that's in here on the back side, here we see that there is a big problem. This is one twentieth of a millimeter. So, uh, I don't know. I cleaned up both centers. I checked if there's no chips or whatever in it. I checked also both tapers here, nice and clean. The points of my centers, nice and clean, no problem. And it doesn't make any difference. Which means that this center is not in center. But I think I'm gonna roll with it because of course the cutting tool when all this is assembled is not in center either. So I think it doesn't matter. Maybe it's gonna look a bit stupid but it will work. Let's do this. The gear will be better. I had to change cutting tools because the previous one didn't work. I had a lot of chatter and this one seems to work a little bit better. Finish is not bad, but now the part is horribly hot. So let's use some coolant. This part is now the same size as the biggest part here on my tape. And I 
can't manage to have a nice surface finish on this. I changed tools a few times, all the inserts, all the speeds, feet. No matter what I do, don't have a good surface finish. I think this setup is just not rigid enough. That's why there's uh, too much chatter. But it is what it is. Right, time to cut this recess thing here. This diameter 19.6. I think I'm gonna set this little project on a hold for a moment. First I have to fix a big problem I have here in the saddle. Of course for roughing out it's not really that important but when I start cutting this precise thread it will be important. But there's also good news. I received mail this week from Mats in the UK. And he sent me an extra large drill, 11.3 millimeters. And a box, let's open it up, oops, with a handful of cap head bolts. This is gonna be useful. And in this little box, he sent me, ah, open up the thing, a handful of little drills look at this extra long i think max he wants me to drill holes and he also sends me inserts and this is exact the same size as i always use here on my machine so that's good that's gonna be very useful and some aluminiums that's nice to make pistons for example and a hex in, I suppose, brass or something. So, Max, I'm sure this is gonna be used here in the workshop. So, thank you very much. And I also received stickers from Paul in the UK, the Shed Dreller. Now, this channel I love really much because his video work is really spot on. And sometimes in his videos he makes these wonderful remarks, you know, it's really fantastic. And a detail I like very much is that he does the same as I do. He prints his stickers himself on paper. So no vinyl or plastic in nature, no pollution. Paul, one point more for you. And as you can see, your sticker is already on the cheap dog. And for the project I'm working on, maybe next week, 